I mean, I, I really think like you know, look at Paranormal Activity for a, as a perfect example. That movie cost what fifteen grand when it came out, and and it's a great scary film. It's a terrifying movie. Uh, now with the digital capabilities, it's endless. You can shoot a movie and edit it in your bedroom. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, no yeah. money is what it costs. Now it's tricky though because, again, the <clears throat> how can I put it as the as the entry cost to make a movie has gone down, the difficulty of getting anybody to see that movie has gone up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Once upon a time, it was literally impossible to make a movie, and whoever managed to could guarantee that everybody on earth would want to see it because it was such a thing of rarity. And then for years, we had studios and big companies that still controlled a very difficult and expensive process that you could pretty much be guaranteed if you put it someplace, anywhere, people will line up to come because it was there. Well, now we are in this moment when, yes, absolutely, like, like Mickey says, you could do something for nothing. And you could even do something brilliant for nothing. And the new challenge is not how do I get the movie made? It's how do I get anybody to know it's there? Yeah. How do I get anybody to see it or care about it? Yeah, it's like it used to be a needle in a haystack. Now it's a needle in a stack of needles. Mm. Yeah. Well put. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's absolutely true. I mean, I, I think one, one thing that I sort of hear a lot of out there, especially at like film festivals or, uh, you know, or places where there's a lot of new talent is, well, they did a lot for a little. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, at some point in time, I just want to say, we'll get some more fucking money. Like, yeah. the, you know, you did a lot for a little, congratulations, but I, I still need it to be something good enough to be able to get somebody to come into a theater and pay $12 to go see the movie. So the guy who's going to go pay and buy a ticket to see the movie doesn't care that you did a lot for a little bit of money. They just want to see a movie that's as good as the big Warner Brothers release because they're paying the same amount of money to see it. Yeah, um, I would speak a, a little differently about it, though. Um, conceivably, you could make a movie for no money, uh, but that's assuming you have a camera and know how to operate it and have a crew and your best friend's a really good sound guy and you have an editor who knows his way around the program you want to use, and it's true. You absolutely can do that. Um, I would, the caveat I would say is you need, I guess, to make a movie on favors at the very least because you have to have a crew, and you have to have, I mean, surround yourself, you, no, you don't have to, but it's nice. Um, I think you should surround yourself with people who, are, who you want to work with, and figure out a way to problem solve making a movie with them, because um, those are your resources. And I think, to speak to what you were saying, um, Andrew, I, I would say that you have to, the, the, there's a responsibility now, I think, on filmmakers, because there's so much content, to not only think of the content, it's also to think of the content, execute the content at a high level, and then while you're doing that the entire time, think with how you're going to reach an audience. Because your job just, it isn't just making a movie anymore, it's making a movie and marketing a movie, um, and distributing a movie if you have to. 